Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Okay, well, well we are back with our gardening journal again. <laughs> I'm actually not working in the journal today. I am making some more ephemera. Um, all of this is not necessarily going in the uh, journal, but um, I just had an idea and I wanted to do it with these garden pictures. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyway, um, as you can see, I have more garden pictures. <laughs> you thought I was getting low. You're so wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I am going to sort through these, find the smaller ones, and um, funnily enough, find some very big ones as well. But we'll start with the smaller ones and work from there. Okay, I have here some page punch outs. Um, these were sent to me by the lovely Bonnie at Bonnie and Clive. Um, she punches out these little scallop squares from papers and yeah, then sends her negatives to her friends. <laughs> Are we really friends? <laughs> that, that right? <laughs> I actually love these. <laughs> when I first got a packet, I was like, what am I going to do with these? But um, yeah, <laughs> you may have seen me do this before um, with pictures of soil samples and um, stamps and all sorts of things. Um, I just use them as frames for, um, yeah, anything. <laughs> now these first few I have inked up um, I give this up as a bad joke along the way because it's not very effective, um, it doesn't make that much of a difference and it's time consuming and messy. So um, the last few I don't bother to ink but I did ink this first one, or these first few. So, And now I'm going to just showcase these small pictures of botanicals in these little frames and um, what will I do with such things in the end? I will more than likely back them with just brown paper and use them as big pockets. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy these. I like the way they look. Um, they look great in a journal. And of course, this journal is full of these botanical pictures and it's all very bright and cheerful and wonderful. And this just suits the whole thing down to a T. So, I am going to get on with this. I am going to do all of these small pictures, well, a lot of these small pictures um, in individual frames, and then I am going to move on and grab a couple of big pictures out of my stash here and just overlay the entire frame on the top and um, stick it down. And that also looks very effective and is a lot less time consuming. <laughs>
as you can see this is um, a lot easier and quite effective as well um, just using the one big picture and you know, making it look like you're looking through a window I guess in the end of the day um, I quite like this look so um, and it's a good way to deal with those great big pictures that you have that you don't really have a purpose for but are just too beautiful to throw away so yeah anyway <laughs> we'll get sticking this down to a piece of um, brown paper and move on to the next one Now this paper is obviously not wide enough to do the whole background but um, it is wide enough to do half of it so I am just going to use it down one side and put the small pictures down the other side so yeah it's um I mean in the end of the day you could cut a large picture like this apart and just use it all over the place in individual sort of windows uh, it doesn't have to be one continuous piece but one continuous piece is a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> and fear not, all these little offcuts will end up being collage. Um, yeah, I mean, you've seen me through this process do some collage of these sort of pictures onto glue pages and use them as tags and um, journal cards. That's what all these little offcuts will be used for. I will just add them to my stash of things that can be used for collage in that, that manner.
I need some more brown paper to back these so um, I'm just going to cut apart this shopping bag. I don't always cut them down like this but this is probably the most efficient way to remove the base off of a paper bag. Um, the base is of little use. I usually, um, well in this application, they're of great use in other applications. <laughs> I have a whole playlist. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I sometimes sort of tear them um, to open up the bag, but mostly I just cut them off like this because I can use the paper bag bottom for something else. And if I tear it, it just ends up being so many more little scrappy bits lying around my room. So yeah, anyway, this is how I just do it anyway. So it's not the be all end all, but it's a pretty good way to get the base out of a paper bag intact.
Right, here we have the finished product. We have done quite a few and um, a few of them will go in my stash and a few of them will actually go into this journal. So when we get around to doing the pockets, they will probably be the first things to go in. So anyway, guys, I hope you like them. Um, I love them. Um, I really like this effect. Um, I've done it before. I will definitely, definitely do it again. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate your company as I always do. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.